most of the good stuff has already been taken. Some people are coming still looking around. No one's bought all the wire yet. Let's go down and take it. How's the sale going, Mom? Very well, very well. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. It's so empty. Here comes another sap. Here's some souvenirs from New Orleans. Karen, let me put it. Cheers. Got the, the uh, Pat O'Brien's from Arthur's Wedding. And the Louisiana World's Fair that they're still talking about how successful that was. And we went to see the big, great Mississippi. Let's see, let's see what else we got here. Well, someone bought the Rubik's Cube. Um, salt. All sorts of good stuff here. Some popcorn. A foot. Oh. Here we have a football tee used by the Golden Arm. Back, back when he was known as the Golden Foot because he could kick the ball such a long distance. That's probably safe to sell just because you will always have the memories of the that tremendous that tremendous winter when the golden arm single handedly beat Arthur and David. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, here's the stopwatch. It was used to time the golden arm as he was racing that hundred yards down the field in less than seven seconds. There's the famous football that the golden arm used to throw. And this is his practice ball. And the practice ball. <laughs> yes, sir. And there's the, there's the basketball that he used to just dunk it over Arthur regularly. <laughs> and here comes some more, uh, some sap, I mean, customers. <laughs> here comes Ted, <laughs> yelling at me. Why my money back here? <laughs> there's another angry customer. <laughs> this iron doesn't work. I want my money back. Yeah. Here's, here's that picture of Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Is the uh, golf game that uh, never really got went too far. Oh, the lamp and table that we might take if no one wants it. Oh, the dolls. There's three left and they're going past. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Santa Maria ship. Three left. Three left. <laughs> Need doll, 25 cents. Only three left. Hurry up and get them. <laughs> okay, here we are outside. Packing up some stuff in the car. Getting ready to walk inside up the stairwell. And up the stairway to the porch. On the porch, no furniture left out here. Hey, what's that brown thing behind the tree? What happened? I guess Max was here. Karen getting to sleep. In the family room. Some place in here is the little yellow man. Hmm. Nope, not in there. That's the place where the cat put the bird that time. There used to be ducks up here and the guns. The famous bolt that holds together the house. Looking in the kitchen now. All the all the drugs are gone now. Most of the stuff's been moved out. Nope, there's there's the mom. There's a famous hiding place with a little gray flag man. Let's see if he's up there. Uh, nope, he's gone. Walking into the living room now. Kind of a shambles right now. There's got a lot of boxes lying around. There's the, the Christmas tree area. Rugs are all gone. Looking at the front hallway.
looking in the dining room. Things are pretty much packed up at this point. Here's the pantry. Can't see the smoke stains on the wall anymore. They've been painted over a few years ago. Again, looking at the other side of the dining room, looking outside. Here's the famous yard where the, where the golden arm had as many of his greatest triumphs. Looking back down the front hallway, up the stairs. Aiden's been practicing going up these stairs. He's pretty good at it now. Looking here in the study, Dad's desk. Everything's pretty much out. All the books are gone off the shelves. But there's a physician's desk reference, Feudal and Quinto. The big three things which are being kept. Here's the slant top desk, boxes, for more furniture. Basically things are out of here. His mom's golf clubs they definitely get a lot of use. A couple of grandpa's pictures. Oops, that's the Radio Shack alarm system. Okay, now we're upstairs in the hallway. Nothing left to see here, looking down the stairs. Here's the little hallway to the attic. Desk is gone, most of the books are gone now. Here's our room. Finally been foreclosed on, David was finally foreclosed because he hasn't been paying the rent. The wood's actually pretty nice under this car, but you never got to see it before. Bookshelf. Here in the closet, there's not too much left. This could be Arthur's or David's safe. I think this is David's dog, Morgan. The original Morgan. Well, now we know that Dad hasn't been lying all those years that he really is a doctor. So in Flushing Hospital when he f finished his internship. His residency. And he actually does have a license back when he worked in the state of Ohio. In medical school. There's the closet. Walking into Susan's room. It's pretty much cleaned out. Nothing to see here. Wait a second, I thought I heard someone yelling, SHUT UP! Nope, through the trees, can't really see though. And this is our room, this is Arthur's clock, did such a good job, I mean Arthur's uh, lamp, did such a good job. It's a picture of me, drawn by Arnold Lee. I think that uh, wine was when I, when I went to Mexico one time. On the plane they gave it to us. The table. Here's the bathroom. Mom used to like to tell the story about how when we first moved here, the kids would go up and go, ta-da! She just stopped telling that story a couple weeks ago. So then we knew it was finally time to move. Picture of the, the girl. Some more of Grandpa's rocks. Here's where Arthur slept for a little while in the closet. When I scared him out of our room because I was being... It's like it was being so tough and I could beat him up. He came to live here for a little while. Dad's closet. Mom would like to just forget all mom would hopefully just like to throw out all these shirts. Mom and Dad's bedroom. Most of the stuff is still here. At the side of the bedroom. Now going down the back stairs, I have to go down the old way so the last time to get the sound. That's the official sound of me running down the stairs. Here we are back in the living room. Again, nothing much to see. That's basically the end of the tour. Still looking for the little yellow man. No luck. Well, at least the people who are moving in will have a lot of built-in fun. They find out once they find out the legend of the little yellow man. You go in the washer, oh, washer and dryer. 
to the bathroom and going out to pick his mom and dad after a hard day of selling stuff. Oh, someone else is coming. Okay, looking a little in the backyard here. Where we used to play baseball. Somewhere back there is the boomerang, never to be found again. The original home plate, one of the original home plates, is actually over here. And then the home plate moved out over there. It used to play 21 out there. I think that was the name of the game. Over the other side. Here's a Rocky's pen. Look in the side yard, also known as Golden Arm Field. Everything's pretty overgrown now. Some of the trees are dead. There's the pool. We we'll go walking out towards the backyard a little bit. There's the bush where Rocky and Rocky and Morgan were chasing that uh, groundhog one time. We actually used to go skating around here sometimes without skates, just the sneakers. Right over here is the place where Chris Morrow had assured us that he actually had ticked it. That he didn't, in fact, strike out. And one of the so, out here also on the field is where Rob Corden made David Hodgeberg cry and go home. Things are definitely overgrown back here. This tree fell down. It broke in half in the winter storms. You can't even get through there anymore. That was the sheep pen and the goat pen. It's just the outfield contour. Our Bruce powered many a home run. Looking at a house from the other end of the, of the field here. There's the chicken coop and the sheep pen. We'll take a look at those in a second. Here's the far reaches of the outfield. Walking up in the woods a little bit here in the back. The stone wall. Somewhere down to the right is where all the big rocks are. Back here in the woods, still looking for the boomerang. Hasn't been found after all these years. But it's in here someplace. Looking at the Wyatt's property now. Gotta stay off that. Looking back across the field again. These pine trees are really big. They used to be kind of small trees out in distant center and right center field. The chicken pen is really overgrown now. There haven't been any chickens in here in a long time. Wait, there's a tomato growing. Is that a tomato? Looking inside the chicken coop now. There's a dead a bee's nest there. Doesn't look like anyone's been in here for a while. Looks like, uh, I think that's Rocky's. Rocky's house. A fence. This is actually the hole. That's the side. That's the hole that I had to escape out of that time that I was locked in, and the rooster was after me. Here's the sheep pen, also boarded up for many years. Nothing too much to see over here. Some of the rabbit cages still back here. Dad's got a ton of wood back here. Hmm. Almost done with the tour. Here's the pool. He's dad trying to throw me off the property. <laughs> That's the number I was telling you about. The best offer. 25 cents. Oh well. Too late. Yeah. It was in Mr. Abel's. Oh, barn. Barn. He got taken down in barn. I bought yeah, I the whole that. thing for $200. All the wood? Yeah, all the wood. I made the shack. Siding, I have to buy it separate, but the, all the frame, I, I still okay. This is the back of the garage where many of Bruce's home runs came flying over the garage and landed back here. Hmm? Yep, pool's pretty empty now. That's a broom in case mom wants to sweep any of the walls. That's the tree that Alan Bick fell out of or Susan fell out of. Alan Bick climbed to the top. 
There's the mom. <laughs> and this is what's left from the yard sale. Not too much. Come on, you two. Get to work over there. Faster. Move it in there. That's basically the end of the yard sale. The end of the tour. Wait. Wait, I think I hear someone yelling, Shut up! Shut up! Wait, wait. <laughs> Someone's yelling. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, it must be coming from down there. Shut up! Okay. Well, that's the end of the sale and the end of the tour. Up here in the woods, there's a lot of knocked down trees. Looks like a mini tornado. It could have been my boomerang. I knocked all these trees down. There were, you know, 30 inches of snow on the ground around the house. Jeez. But this looks like a tornado. It really does. Well, they're all blown in the same direction. Yes. See, and you figure, how could the wind get here to knock these trees down? Well, that's what makes it... Difficult to understand, but I'm sure that they got so laden with snow, uh -huh. and then one fell on top of the other. It was like yeah. a domino. Huh. Hmm. There's the path up the woods. Not too good. Not too good anymore. Mm -mm. Oh, here's the, here's the edge of the, the sheep pen. You remember in the center there, there was a big tree that yep. fell down with Hurricane Gloria? I didn't remember the storm, but yeah, I remember there used and, to be a tree. And, and this is where Rocky and the, uh, and the, and the groundhog and Morgan were. Fighting. I think you're going to make it, eh? Come on, come on, you can do it. Start with his leg. Works better when you start with his leg. There you go. <laughs> he said what the bend is that. He says, back off, I do it well by myself. Well, he doesn't hide it. It's I know. Great. It's one where he's much better than that. With these slippery shoes. Yeah. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. He comes so much better when he puts his knee right knee off. Good job. Good job. Yay! 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 Now how are you going to go down? <laughs> <laughs>